Hi guys, my name is Heather. I'm a Norwex independent sales consultant and today I'm going to talk to you about how the EnviroCloth from Norwex has changed my home, rocked my world, and we have some visitors who are going to be joining us to help demonstrate. So hang on tight, it's going to be a fun time. Alright, so Norwex, the mission of Norwex is to radically reduce chemicals in our homes to allow us to create a safe haven. We are the gatekeeper of our home. Our kids don't decide what comes in our home. Our husbands, partners really don't care what comes in the home most of the time. Um, and so it's up to us. So Norwex has allowed us to purchase products that are sustainable, which means we aren't purchasing cleaning products over and over and over that are ending up in a landfill. They're not very effective. I'm going to show you guys in a second here with my test swabs and raw meat um, and so with Norwex you purchase it once it's got a two-year warranty and you can keep using it over and over and over again my favorite part is that we have um, a special antibacterial embedded in our fibers um, so with Norwex as long as you're using proper use and care you are able to remove up to 99% of bacteria from your surfaces with just our cloth and water and then because they have a special antibacterial micro silver inside they will actually self purify as they hang to dry so let's talk about about that for a second. We'll talk about our technology. So you may or may not be familiar with silver as an antibacterial. So I'm going to show you a few ways where silver is actually used widely um, today and around the world and in the past as an antibacterial agent. So actually our astronauts use silver to purify their drinking water. Thank you astronaut Jim. Also Goodbye, astronaut Jill. Burn victims in a hospital um, will get silver in their ointment in their burn cream to help prevent infection. Um, lastly, next next up, excuse me, um, when a newborn is born in the hospital, they actually da, 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 da. put a silver ointment in their eyes. Here you go, baby, to help prevent infection in their eyes. Um, and the term born with a silver spoon in your mouth was actually due yeah. to the fact that back in olden times, the wealthy would eat off of silver and drink out of silver because of the antibacterial properties to prevent them from getting sick. Thank you, baby. Last up, in olden times as well, they purified their drinking water in their different vessels, like their goblets. <laughs> their goblets. <laughs> their goblets by putting silver in the water to purify the drinking water. Oh gosh, I hope you're not really drinking that. So, micro silver as an antibacterial has been around for quite some time, and that's not new, but our cloths have the micro silver embedded in them. Also, the technology that we have is so much better than other microfiber. You can purchase your microfiber anywhere. Um, I met my handsome husband, who is our demonstrator today, at a super center. You can find good things at a super center. You do not want to get your microfiber there. So, the reason is that um, to be called microfiber, a strand in a cloth has to be one-sixth of a human hair. Our Norwex microfiber is actually one two-hundredth of a human hair. So picture if I rip out one of my hairs and we chop it six ways. That's a microfiber. That's microscopic, right? Norwex, you would actually rip out a hair and chop it up 200 times. That is insane. I can't even like see that with my eye. So if we unraveled this cloth, the strand would actually reach from Canada to Mexico. That's how dense the fibers are. So number one, when you are wetting this cloth with water, you're folding it so you have eight sides to work with, and there are gonna be millions of microfibers which are star or wheel shaped that are gonna pull all of that bacteria and dirt from your surfaces into the core of the cloth, keeping your surface clean. So what I'm gonna do next is a little chicken demonstration for you guys. And so what I have here is, this is actually my Norwex cutting board. We have our chicken. Um, this is actually raw chicken. I think this chicken coordinates with my outfit quite well, actually. Um, and so what we're gonna do is plop this raw chicken onto our Norwex cutting board. Um, many of our products are made from recycled materials and our cutting board is actually made from recycled rice husks. Um, we care very much about our planet, our earth, our oceans, what's going into the oceans, and animals. Norwex does not test on animals. We are cruelty free. Don't you love that? Fantastic. This is some stinky chicken, you guys. I used this last night in two parties. I'm reusing it today. I said we'd like to reuse here at Norwex. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is take test swab number one, and I'm going to take a sample of that raw meat juice on my Norwex cutting board. By the way, I hardcore adult with this cutting board. It's got some rubber on the back to keep it from sliding around. It's my favorite cutting board of all time. This is a little bit awkward. Um, and so what we're going to do is take a little sample here. And you will notice on the front of this swab, it goes from green, which means clean, all the way down to purple. If there's purple, it means the surface is nasty. And since we just used raw chicken, no offense, um, we know that there are all kinds of nasty things that were on that cutting board, right? And so it turned purple right away. So what I'm gonna do now is take just my Norwex Enviro cloth. If you buy one Norwex product, you want a Norwex Enviro cloth. Wet it with water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this cutting board. See that chicken juice glistening on one side? <clears throat> and we wanna keep the surface flat so that we're picking up all of that disgustingness. I'm going to actually flip it and you're going to notice I'm touching it without concern. What happens is all of that stuff gets pulled to the center of the cloth and so I am going to now take it a step further and smear aka wipe aka clean my surface with my Norwex and Biro cloth all over and you're probably thinking to yourself that I'm smearing that chicken all around. Well I am not and I'm going to prove that to you right now. So I have my second test swab and I am going to check where my chicken was and then I'm actually going to take it a step further and I'm going to check the whole surface of the cutting board because remember I used that cloth to clean the entire cutting board after I cleaned the chicken. So now you can see that green means clean and our surface was clean. Now if anybody out there thinks I'm being a little tricky, what I'll do is I will swab that raw chicken just so you know that this is not a, a trick chicken, a, tr a tricky chicken. Turns purple right away. There it is. So when you're using Norwex microfiber, you can rest assured to know that it's third party tested um, and our antibacterial agent is actually EPA approved. Um, so now what I would do after I used my Enviro cloth is I would turn on my sink, rinse this cloth really well, rubbing together to make sure I'm taking some of that bacteria load off of the cloth. And then I will wring it out. And all of our cloths come with a nice little handy tag on them. Um, they tell you what they are. So this is an Enviro cloth and it will tell you that it has Backlock, which is the antibacterial microsilver. And after I've rinsed and wrung it out, I would hang it up to dry and it will self purify. <laughs> it will self purify as it hangs to dry. So, with proper use and care, again, your Norwex and Viro cloth will remove up to 99% of bacteria from your surfaces and self purify. So you might be thinking to yourself that you still want to use your cleaners, you're not so sure. So we're going to put this to the test. So what I'm going to do is grab my two identical plates that I have here and I am going to do a little test. So I have a popular um, chemical cleaner here and I also have a popular green cleaner here. And let's just talk really quickly about the downside of when you're buying cleaning products. Number one you will purchase these over and over and over again, right? So you're wasting your money. Um, and also, when you think about your cabinet space, you probably have a big cabinet full of cleaners, maybe some in your kitchen, maybe some in your bathroom, your laundry room. With Norwex, we are minimalistic. This one Enviro cloth is going to replace so many cleaners in your home, it's gonna be more effective, it's gonna get the job done much faster, and I'm gonna tell you the difference between chemical and mechanical cleaning, which is what Norwex is, and I have a nice little demo for you guys, including some germ powder. So, first what I want to say is if you have never read the back of your cleaning containers, I suggest you do so now. So, cleaning container number one, we'll use the chemical one first, has a huge, in red letters, um, explaining to me that it is a caution, it is a hazard, precautionary statements hazards to, do, to humans and domestic animals, okay? They're telling us right on the back of here that this is hazardous to us. So then, here's the kicker, you guys. These are called disinfecting wipes, but there's all these little asterisks. So let's turn this around and read what the asterisk says. It says to disinfect, you need to use enough wipes for surface to remain visibly wet for four minutes, okay? Then it tells you you need to rinse thoroughly with soap and water. So I don't know about you guys, when I was using chemical cleaners, first of all, unless I took this wipe and squeezed all the water out or stood there and wiped and wiped and wiped for four minutes, nobody has time for that. I have four kids, I do not have time for that. Um, I wasn't actually disinfecting. Um, and furthermore, the reason they're telling you 
to rinse thoroughly with soap and water is because of that toxic chemical left behind that they are telling you is a hazard, okay? So let's talk about the grain cleaner next. This one tells me that I can use it around food. Um, it does not tell me that I need to rinse thoroughly with soap and water, so it's a little safer, but guess what? This one tells me in order to disinfect, the surface needs to stay wet for 10 minutes. That is shocking to me. Again, I do not have time to stand here and wipe for 10 minutes. I have a lot to do. Nobody has time for that. So here's the difference. When you are using a chemical cleaner, you have a kill time. There are three ways to clean. You can clean thermally, which would be, for example, if you have a water main break in your town and they're telling you you need to boil your water to sanitize it. Um, they would tell you that you need to boil for X amount of time in order to kill the bacteria, right? Um, also, if you um, go to the doctor's office and they sterilize their equipment in an autoclave, that would also be thermal cleaning. So it, there's a kill time where those, those um, things they're using have to be in that autoclave for a certain amount of time in order to kill the bacteria. Same with chemical cleaners, even green cleaners. There is a, a surface kill time that you have to pay attention to and nobody's doing that. Then you have to rinse thoroughly if you're using a chemical. Here's where Norwex is different. So when you're using Norwex, you are mechanically cleaning. This cloth, like I said, has little star or wheel shaped fibers. So when you're cleaning your surface, it's pulling everything to the core of the cloth, keeping the surface clean. So I want you to kind of think of it um, as a garden. Um, and as I explain that, what I'm gonna do is take my powder here and put the same amount on both of these plates. And this is just kind of simulating dirt, bacteria. And so we're gonna put it to the test. So I have an even amount on both of these plates here. And actually, I think I have a little bit more on my Enviro cloth plate. Can you guys see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cleaning wipe. And unfortunately, I do not have my glove here, which I much prefer to have my glove. Because the problem is when you are using products with toxic chemicals in, your skin actually absorbs that within 26 seconds. Um, it affects your organs. It goes to your uh, adrenal system, which affects your endocrine system, your thyroid, your hormones. And so it's not just affecting you on a physical level. It can actually affect you on a reproductive and hormonal level. Okay, so notice that that said it would take four minutes to be visibly wet to disinfect. What I want to show you guys really quick is it has not even been a minute and this surface is almost dry. Okay, but we're going to revisit that in just a second. On plate number two, I'm going to take my Norwex and Viro cloth and I again just have this wet with water and what I'm going to do is wipe it with both sides just like I did that cleaning cloth. So wipe it with side number one, flip it, and wipe it with side number two. Now the difference is, unlike that cleaning wipe, which is use, relying on a chemical and a kill time, my Norwex and Viro cloth immediately mechanically cleaned that surface, pulling everything to the core of the cloth. So what I'd like to do for you guys now is um, turn my black light on. I don't even think I need to turn the lights off. This is how severe this is. Um, I talked for not even a minute, and you can see the surface of my cleaning wipe plate is completely dry. If the black light helps at all, I don't even think we need it. Um, you can see that there is a residue left behind. This is why that container is telling me to rinse thoroughly with soap and water after use because you're leaving a toxic chemical behind. So I want you to think if you are cleaning your floors with a chemical and you're not going behind rinsing, guess what's happening? When your bare feet, your children's bare feet, your little fur baby's paws are walking across that chemical coated floor, your body is absorbing that and there is no need for it. Furthermore, if the floor didn't stay wet with the chemical for four to 10 minutes, it didn't actually disinfect. So let's take a look at the EnviroCloth plate. EnviroCloth plate is squeaky clean. So this was the cleaning wipes plate. This is the EnviroCloth plate. So I was mentioning a garden, um, and so I want to just kind of give you guys a visual. If you have a garden um, and you have your vegetables in there, but it's full of weeds and you want to get rid of the weeds, you have a few options, right? So you could go out there and you could spray it with a pesticide. And after a little bit of time, kill time, those weeds are going to just kind of wilt over, but the little dead bodies are going to be behind in your garden, right? Or you could go out and use something natural like vinegar. Again, there's going to be a kill time and the dead bodies are going to be left behind. Or you could go out there and you could physically and mechanically pull the weeds. They're gone. There's no eyesore. Immediately gone. No dead bodies left behind. And that's the difference when you're using a Norwex Enviro cloth. It's literally mechanically removing all of that bacteria up to 99% when you're caring for your cloth properly. Um, and so this just makes so much more sense. It's much more efficient um, and you're gonna get better results. Okay, so where can you use your EnviroCloth? Think E for 
everywhere, every surface in your home. When I got my first Enviro cloth, my back literally hurt the next day from going from surface to surface to surface. All I would do is wet it, and when you fold it the proper way, you have eight sides to work with. So you fold it in half, and then you fold it in half again, and you can literally just keep rinsing and go around your house, flip the sides, and clean your whole house. I'm talking carpet. We were actually able to get nail polish out of our carpet. I have four daughters. Um, we were actually um, able to get marker, glue, colored glue, glitter, all kinds of things like that off of our table and our kids' doors. And so this really is used everywhere on our bathroom counters, on our kitchen counters, floors, carpet. Um, it's great on upholstered furniture, um, like your couch or your dining room chairs. And so you really can use it everywhere. You're just wetting it and then rinsing when you're done. Okay, so every once in a while though, we have something like, okay, um, yes, we have a visitor. Oh, the baby's back. Okay, so every once in a while, if you have little ones, they might be naughty. Okay, that was very naughty, baby. So this was a permanent marker, and I told you this EnviroCloth is the, the best thing I've ever used to clean. And I could probably sit here and get this marker off if I really tried, but, Nope, not working. So every once in a while, you wanna reach for something that's a little bit stronger. And in this case, we wouldn't wanna reach for something bleach-based because it's so toxic. So this is where our cleaning paste comes into play as a little extra helper that's gonna spare your kids' lives. So what you do is you just take your wet and viral cloth, and this is a marble flower base, so it's kind of like a solid, but when it touches your wet and viral cloth, it becomes more of a paste. When I take this to the permanent marker, I am able to remove the permanent marker. So if you need a little more, you get a little more right there on your cloth. Um, the cleaning paste is fantastic on stove tops, um, on grout, on the whites of shoes, places like that. You can actually use it on jewelry, um, on silver. And so it is fantastic all kinds of places. Your straightening iron, your flat iron, um, and it's really a secret weapon. It is not safe on natural, um, natural stone or um, brush nickel. Okay, there we have it. All right, right. so I hope that you guys enjoyed this demonstration. Again, my name is Heather Petersheim. Um, my website is www.heatherpetersheim.norwex.biz. If you have questions, I would love to answer them. Again, keep in mind that our microfiber all has a two-year warranty and Norwex products have a 60-day satisfaction guarantee. I would love to send you a catalog if you'd like more information. Um, and if you're a customer of mine, be sure to join my VIP group. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me.